Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of um, concept design uh, to show you guys how this stuff works. So let's just get to it. Um, I think probably want to be dealing with just uh, simple mechanic stuff uh, for the time being. So before I get started, I'm just going to um, do my warm up, and that is just doing this whole wire wrapping thing, taking a bunch of these spheres and making them. And I'll go in and out of perspective. And just getting used to, you know, drawing these spheres as if they're overlapping. You know, it's, you don't want to have that, you know, feeling of restraint where you hit the edge of the screen and, you know, and the, and the screen winds, you know, the edge of the screen or the edge of your paper winds up getting in the way. You have to be able to imagine what's going on outside of the paper, you know, when you hit the edge. So, just having, I guess I'll just have to, since I remember how I told um, one of my previous episodes, I said, you know, you had to be able to do this both clockwise and counterclockwise. And the reason for that is that sometimes, you know, a certain direction might not be available to you. So, you know, it's a way of being able to deal with that type of situation. Because one of the things that really screws up a drawing is when you are trying to stay inside the page. I could probably scroll my, my view around, but you know, it's um, this is not something that a person on paper can do, so I'm going to try and, you know, I'm just going to have to explain that, because it is something you're going to have to deal with. Um, okay, so now that I'm, when I say I'm warmed up, it just means that I'm, you know, I'm thinking and looking at things in three dimensions. You know, I don't just see a bunch of lines, I see something that is traveling through space. I think I'm pretty suitably warmed up. So, I'm uh, just going to start off, you know, firearms. Um, you know, I, I'm going to just, uh, let's see. Let's figure out, you know, when you fire, whenever you have a firearm, what's a firearm supposed to do? It's supposed to shoot well bullets, right? So you got to figure out, you know, how large is your, your bullet? You know, what's what's the, the caliber of the bullet that you're launching? Does it even fire bullets? Does it fire crossbow bolts? You know, what does it launch? Um, because that is going to ultimately determine um, the type of barrel on the gun. You know, how long the barrel is, how wide, you know, the, the barrel is going to be. And it's also going to determine, you know, a bunch of other factors like um, the body of the gun, the chambers. Um, Guns have an anatomy to them, you know. Uh, let's see. There's, there, how does how do the rounds get into the chamber? Is it is it top loaded? You know, is it is it a single is it a, is it a single shot pistol? Sure, why not? Let's let's try a single shot pistol because the mechanism is very very simple. So I'm going to make a break action single shot pistol. And one of the advantages of a break action single shot pistol is that you can fire very very large cartridge loads, very powerful cartridge rounds because you don't have all this extra um, stuff to deal with. You know, it's, it, the mechanics of the pistol are, are very simple. So it's easy to maintain. It's very reliable. Um, let's see now. Okay, so I've got just the, the main body of the gun. There is no handle on this thing yet. Um, so hang on, I'm just going to put a bit of a... figure out where the sight posts on this thing are. Now, if this thing is going to be firing out such a large caliber round, then it's going to need a stock of some sort. It's going to for, it's going to have to be able to um, the the user who's you know going to be firing this gun is going to have to be able to absorb um, some of the shock and the recoil. But um, I imagine that this is going to be a fairly large firearm. I'm just going to straighten that barrel out a bit. I imagine that's going to be a fairly fairly large um, firearm, fairly long, so instead of having a stock on it that's really, really huge, you know, that's going to stick up the back a long way and make this thing really large, I'm going to go, for, I'm going to opt for a bullpup configuration because this thing doesn't have a, a magazine, you know, it doesn't have any, um, any extra mechanical crap to deal with, you know, I can make this into a bullpup configuration. And that way, you know, the stock is right here. You know, it makes the gun considerably shorter. So the stock's right there. Um, let me uh, shove things over. And yeah, let's let's see. Uh, there's probably going to be a front foregrip. I'm going to add a, a front foregrip to the thing. 
shadow that off. Put a little bit of. Okay, and yeah, I'm probably gonna have to shadow this side off because the light is on the uh, on the right side. And then maybe a little bit of a backlight. So I'm not worrying about things like color right now. Just tone, tone to to say you know where the light is, and I'm just using. Um, the tone is a way to say um, you know how the surfaces are turning. So it's a single shot break action um, gun. Now let's see. The problem with a break action gun is well, you have to be able to break it open to load rounds into the chamber. So let's see. How are you gonna? How, how am I gonna deal with this? Um, well, it means I'm probably gonna have to allow the stock as well to um, to come open. And I guess I'm probably gonna have to have um, a hinge. I'm going to get, I need a hinge down at the bottom. So, you know, this is the inventing part of things. Okay, so it's got a hinge down there. The stock can open. This is where the, the back, you know, the back part of the gun is. Um, how does it lock shut? Uh, well, I guess what I'll have is um, maybe the, the, uh, the locking mechanism is internal into the stock, but there is going to have to be some sort of... Um, an external uh, latch to uh, to unlock it. So let's see. Uh, you fire the thing off, and then trying to imagine. So you have to take the thing off your shoulder, and then where's a good place to put that latch? I guess I can. You know, I guess you can probably put your palm against you know this this area here. So I guess a good spot for the latch is probably you know right in here. So there's a, a probably a a locking button of some kind that you um, that you push. There, so that will unlock it. Oh, and of course, duh, you're going to need a trigger. So, let me uh, figure out, let's see, I guess a good place for the, if, if your shoulder is, is here, then your hand is probably going to be, it's probably a good idea to put the trigger um, on the front. So, yeah, let's put the, the trigger on the front foregrip. Uh, let me uh, fix this barrel up. And let's see, how much longer am I going to make that barrel? Okay, there we are. So now we can have a really, really long barrel, but you know the the form factor of the gun is still one that is fairly compact. So it's a it's a it's a hand cannon. You know, it's a very very sh uh, it's a it's a compact hand cannon. Considering the bullpup style of the um, of the weapon. So I guess inside there, there's going to have to be room for all the trigger mechanisms to be in there. And there's the, the trigger in there. And I guess I'll just put in a little bit of bounce light on some of these areas to tell me, you know, where, how things are curving. Um, yeah, the sight mechanism. Yeah, sure. I, I guess I guess a weapon like this, you know, it's, it's, it's compact, it's powerful. Um, Looks kind of like a steam steampunk, you know, anti-cyborg rifle of some kind. Uh, maybe I'll put a yeah, I'll put the sight ring here. Actually, I'm probably gonna need a, some kind of a, a clamp. I'm gonna put a clamp on this uh, there. So uh, it's kind of a barrel clamp right there, and yeah, there's our sight ring right there. I'm gonna need to um, light the uh, front face of the sight ring. Uh, put a sight post inside and light that as well. Okay, and then there's going to have to be a rear sight. So let me uh, shove things around again. Okay, and yeah, let's let's put the rear sight on this thing. So let's see. I think the rear sight is going to be part of the front there. So I'm just going to add a block onto that and you know take that away. Um, maybe I'll have to put a bit of a pit in the middle, and I'm going to have to cut that away as well. So you can see how much of, of a sculpting, um, it, it's very much like, it, it, it's, it's, it's sculpting, it's just that it's um, done on paper. The subject is completely three-dimensional, but, you know, it's, uh, the, the, the medium is, only the medium is 2D. So, I'm just going to go and fix this stuff up right here. So, yeah, and, and there's, you know, there's there's one design right there for, you know, a bullpup style, you know, steampunk hand cannon. Um, here, let's see. Yeah, okay, let's, that's the end of this 10-minute one. I guess I'll just do another one.